Papa can't find a job, and he and Mama are always fighting about money. What if he never gets work again? It's normal to worry about the future, but trust God to help you get through this. Guess what? You are listening to the one and only Keys for Kids, a great way to grow your faith in God. My name is Zach. Some people think that when you become a Christian, you get special treatment from God, like you're never going to worry again about money or anything else. But it doesn't work like that. Being a Christian is about trusting God no matter what comes your way, including going through tough times. Just remember, no matter what happens, God is never far away. Listen to Psalm 46, 1. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Now, let's turn to our story. It's entitled, One Chapter. Thoughts churned inside Diego as he trudged alongside his grandparents who had prepared a picnic to share on the beach. Usually, he adored picnics, but not today. If only Papa could find a job, he thought, swallowing back the tears. Then he and Mama would stop arguing. If only I didn't grow so fast and keep needing new clothes and shoes. Diego, you and Grandpa go walk and have a chat, Grandma said, placing a blanket on the sand. I'll read and take care of our food until you return. Diego and Grandpa said nothing for a while as the waves lapped in and out. Finally, Grandpa spoke, breaking the silence. You're worried about your parents, aren't you? Diego nodded, wiping away a tear. What if Papa never finds a job? We become homeless. I feel so helpless. I pray, but God feels far away at the moment. Oh, Diego, our loving God is always near, Grandpa said, hugging him. Jesus loves you so much, he died for you, and he promises to always be with you and help you through hard times. Place all your worries in his hands, and he'll give you strength. You will survive this, you'll see. We won't allow you to become homeless. Now, let's enjoy this family time we've been blessed with. The sun glistened on the sea as they walked back. Grandma looked up and smiled when she saw them. This book is so exciting. There's one challenge after another for the heroine, and I couldn't put it down. I'm desperate to find out what happens next. Grandpa gave Diego a nudge. You see, it's not the end. Life is like Grandma's novel, a series of chapters with lows and highs. Through it all, we can always trust Jesus who walks with us in life. What you're going through is a difficult chapter, but it isn't your whole life. It's a part of it that God will use to help you know him better, and one day you'll pass through it. Grandpa sat down on the blanket. Come on, let's pray so we can eat. After they prayed, Diego's heart felt lighter. As he ate Grandma's delicious food, he thought about how this difficult time was just one chapter in his life, and hope and strength filled his heart. So, how about you? Are you experiencing a tough situation in your life? Perhaps you're worried about a family separation, moving, finances, sickness, or something else. Remember that this is a chapter in your life and that you're not alone. In hard times, Jesus is always with us and gives us his peace and strength. So trust him to help you through this difficult chapter. Our key verse is found in the Psalms, chapter 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. And our key thought for today, trust God in hard times. If Keys for Kids is helping you grow closer to God now, what are you going to do as a teenager? Well, you can try reading our Unlocked Teen Devotional. Each day's story will help you understand the Bible and help you become more confident in your faith. Ask your parents to sign up for a free subscription at unlocked.org slash subscribe. I'm Zach with Keys for Kids.